Ma, I am going to school. Son, did you take your tiffin? Yes, Ma. Let us study about environment now. What is environment? The natural surroundings of the living things where they live and survive is called environment. Whenever we talk about environment, you must have come across words like ecology or ecologists. So, what does that mean? The science of studying living things in their natural surroundings or environment is called ecology. And the scientists who study ecology are called ecologists. Why do we keep hearing protect the environment, save the environment or keep the environment green? What has happened to the environment? What does it need to be saved from? First, let us learn some concepts. The release of substances which are harmful to the living things in air, water or soil is called pollution. These harmful substances are called pollutants. They are slowly making the environment unfit for living beings. Hence, pollution is a big environmental problem. There are four main types of pollution. Air pollution, water pollution, noise pollution and land pollution. Let's see the air pollution first. What makes the air dirty or polluted? Air pollution comes from power stations, chimneys or factories and burning of fuels in the vehicles as they release smoke and gases. And how does the water get polluted? The wastes from factories and farms and at times even sewage from homes, hotels and hospitals are the main sources of water pollution. The noise from the factories, vehicles and loudspeakers create noise pollution in the environment. If you are watching TV or playing computer games in full volume, you are also responsible for creating noise pollution. Some human activities also damage the environment. Cutting down the trees and clearing the forests for building cities and cultivating crops damage the environment badly. One more human activity which damages the environment badly is hunting and killing of animals and marine life for food, clothing, cosmetics, etc. Now that we know about different kinds of pollution, let's understand an important topic in today's context. Global Warming What is global warming? How is it caused? When the sunlight falls on the earth, it generates heat. Earth absorbs some portion of the heat and most of the heat is radiated or returned back to be released back into the space. But because of presence of pollutants in the air, like those coming out of exhaust output of cars or smoke from factories, this radiated heat is not released into the sky and instead retained in the atmosphere, making the earth warmer day by day. This is very similar to the greenhouse effect but causing negative impact. This increase of temperature of the earth slowly is called as global warming. So what is the impact of global warming? You know that the earth is mostly covered with water. Due to global warming, the glaciers in the snow-covered mountains will start melting and can increase the water level of earth drastically. This imbalance in ecosystem can cause massive floods and is a big danger to the mankind. You all know that the earth is wrapped in a blanket of air called the atmosphere, which is made up of several layers. 
about 19 to 30 kilometers above the earth is a layer of gas called ozone which is a form of oxygen. Ozone is produced naturally in the atmosphere. Almost all of the harmful ultraviolet rays coming from the sun, that is UV radiation, are absorbed by this layer of ozone gas 20 to 50 kilometers above the earth. Hence, the ozone layer is very important because it stops the harmful sun's rays getting through to the earth. This can cause skin cancer and can also harm all the plants and animals. The life on earth could not exist without the protective shield of the ozone layer. The ozone layer is getting damaged or thinner by the pollution in the air. As the result of which, more of the harmful UV radiation is entering the earth. So, the air pollution should be stopped to reduce the further damage to the ozone layer leading. Have you heard of acid rains? What kind of rain is this? The harmful gases released in the air mix with water vapor in the air and form harmful substances called acids. These acids come down with the rain and cause damage to the soil, plants and buildings. Such rains are called acid rains. The acid rains are the result of the air pollution caused by us. So we should stop polluting air. Let us see more effects of the pollution. Air, water and soil pollution affects both the growth and quality of plants and crops. Not just on plants, the humans too have to face the adverse effects of the pollution in many ways. Breathing polluted air causes respiratory problems in children and adults alike. Drinking polluted water can cause epidemics like cholera, typhoid, jaundice, etc. Noise above a certain level affects people's blood pressure and causes headache. It can also cause deafness in the people. By now, you must have clearly understood why we need to take control of pollution and save the environment and ourselves. We have already damaged our environment badly, but still, it is not too late. So what all steps can be taken to protect our environment? We can protect our environment by saving the plants and by not cutting them. Why? Because plants make the air fresh for our breathing. You know how? They absorb carbon dioxide for making food. And then they release a fresh supply of oxygen in the air. So we should plant more and more trees. Too much of chemicals in the form of fertilizers is not good for the soil. Farmers are encouraged to use the organic fertilizers which do not harm the soil. The use of plastic bags which have become the main cause of land pollution should be discouraged or banned. Simply say no to plastics. That is why nowadays people are encouraged to take reusable carry bags made of cotton, jute etc. for shopping instead of plastic covers or bags which we throw away after use and cause land pollution. The use of plastic should be reduced. Plastic jars, bottles, cans etc. should be reused as far as possible. They should be recycled to make other things. How do we do this? Don't throw all the kitchen waste, paper and plastic, all the wet and dry waste together in one dustbin. Don't burn the plastic waste. Keep the plastic waste separate. Later in the factory, the same plastic can be converted into new plastic things. The new plastic is called recycled plastic. Same process can be done to old useless paper and we can get new paper out of it. In summary, 
reduce the use of plastic. Reuse and recycle plastic as much as you can. Nations across the world are trying to increase the usage of wind and solar energy instead of fossil fuels like oil, gas, as wind and solar energy do not cause any form of pollution. These are also available in huge quantities, whereas the quantity of fossil fuels is limited. The sewage drain should not open into the water bodies like lake, river, etc. directly. They pollute the water. Sewage treatment plants are installed to remove the poisonous substances from the sewage before the water is released in rivers or seas. For vehicles, use of unleaded petrol is encouraged to reduce air pollution. So we see a lot can be done to save our earth. It's high time we should start taking care of our environment. The natural resource must be conserved, otherwise they will soon disappear and so will we.